The de facto forming of Spain happened in 1479, with the de jure edition coming out in 1715. I think that's a little late in my opinion, so I set out to form Spain almost a thousand years early, led by none other than Francisco Franco. What's that, Franco? You've got something to say? Suscríbete a los streamers sociales. Can't really argue with that. Right, lads, let's form Spain, shall we? Of course, there's only one man for the job, and that's Francisco Franco. This is not a political statement of any kind. I googled most famous Spaniard, and he showed up in a list. So he has 38 Marshall. <laughs> Um, and I googled, you know, what was Franco like, and they said he was professional, ruthless, and wrathful. So I've gone for vengeful, wrathful, and diligent. I didn't pick that, but apparently he's an organizer, he's a strategist, and an overseer. He's also 18, and really a hench. Moreover, using the, uh, emblem designer, which is awesome, uh, I made a bastardization of the, uh, <laughs> Spanish flag. And I think that just speaks for itself. How's Franco? Now, we're gonna be going until Franco dies, so... Let's see if I can unite this entire region uh, within about... I'd give him about 30 years. Now, getting Franco in the thick of things does sound fun. I am, however, tempted to go down here and keep him alive. And Franco is going to be married to Spain. That is to say that he's not going to have any kids. So I can't back out of this whole just him thing and no, no heir. All right, you might have about 3,000 troops. We have about 1,100. Jesus. To be honest, I think I backed myself early. Obviously, we do have a deficit of about 800 troops, but I do have ridiculous martial skill. I'm not pious enough for me to do the whole duchy, though. All right, let's get some piety, boys. Let's go to Pugridge to get ourselves enough piety to be able to declare war on everything. We'll lose ducats for a while. Okay, we have a thousand piety now, but we also have no money. I'm just gonna equip the finger bones of a saint. I'm not sure why I could equip that. Just holding it, and France is scuppered. Oh, a Macedon spear. I was meant to be saving up to declare war on the Mayads, and I picked up a spear instead. I just thought it looked cool. Look, I, I know my court grand is like level one, but... Hey, we're back up to two! <laughs> I've had the spear for about two minutes, and I'm already respected, <laughs> experienced guy with it. I'll take it. Oh, nice, pet cat. Awesome. That gives me all the confidence I need to declare war on the Mayads. All right, we're going to go for this. This could go very, very poorly indeed. But I have 51 commander advantage. Where's he going? We do have some advantage in planes. Obviously, I'd like to be defending the mountains. Gonna wait for him to take a couple of losses here, boys. Let's get it. Okay, he just didn't react. Let's push the advantage then. Okay, this is this is big. This is a good start. Oh, the Mayans have started to split. That's very good for us. I might just focus on sieging, to be honest. Because I think I can out-siege him. He has a thousand more troops. The game thinks I'd win, but I don't... I don't know that I would. It's 800 more troops. Okay, if he wants to run, I'll let him run. I don't really feel like fighting him. Really? Now I'm trying to fight for our for our kingdom's future and you want to rise up now. This game really makes you hate people. See, look, because every time I get close, he backs up, but I'm not confident enough to fight him. So I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing, winning a siege and then going to scare him off. 86%. This is <laughs> kind of going in circles now. Okay, good, because uh, I think Navarro just joined the war. I don't know how. I thought they were on my side, but he's allied to the enemy. Oh, you're Catholic, man. Why you can't ally the Muslim? I mean, it's very progressive of you. I get it, but Jesus. All right, we're going to enforce our demands. Thank you very much. I am shocked that I won that war, but that is kind of successful. Oh, no. Give me a physician, please. You can't. You can't die. It's my spy master. Why have I... <laughs> Why is my spy master someone who hates me? I feel like it's a bit of an oversight. Right, time to ransom off this lot. Obviously, only the ones that will pay me. If, uh, if you'll give me a favor, then I don't, really don't care. You can rot in prison. Ooh. <sighs> of course. Can't just, you know, conquer Spain, can I? I have to, I have to fight my vassals. Right, I'm just going to keep fighting them and make sure they can't actually uh, consolidate their troops. That's a lovely stack wipe. That's a lovely stack wipe. Oh, this could be big. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Well, that was really, really easy. All right, enforced demands. And now I gotta go. There's 3,000 of you. There's, there's, no, that's 4,000. Okay, that's, that's not great. This is the man who wants to take my place and he's a non-believer. Would you look at that? Oh no, your son's dead. Oh, wow. Okay. There are dissenters because of the faction and I can, I've got a 7% chance to make everyone leave the faction. Damn it. <laughs> 30% chance. Look, never trust the numbers on a Paradox game. It might say 7% chance of success, but that's a lie. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so this guy wanted to put himself on the throne. Oh, he could just die. Wait, hang on. He dies, but I'm allowed to imprison him. <laughs> I've got a guy with 24 Marshall that loves me that I can put there. Ah, please, go and fix everything. All right, Dynasty 
Legacy, I think we're obviously going to go Warfare. It's Francisco Franco after all. Ooh, this could be good. Let's give that a go. Because I'll be honest, Franco's not getting any younger. He's 33 already and we're not really even close to getting there. I've got more finger bones of a saint. I just carry them around with me. Seems like a really easy war, actually. <laughs> I've not even seen the enemy. Oh, he's down there. Don't mind me. I'm just going to siege down your lands. There we go. <laughs> that was the easiest war I've ever fought in CK3. All right, let's find someone who likes me. <laughs> Don't want to give it to this man. <laughs> of course, I never actually showed you the Castilian culture. So this is the Castilian culture. Iberian heritage, Iberian uh, vulgar language, Castilian aesthetics, and obviously martial men only. We diverged a couple years back from Visigothic. We've got the uh, the pillars of martial um, admi admiration, so we like knights, chivalry, castle keepers, and hit and run tacticians. I just I just tortured some random people in my court. What's my dread like? 62. <laughs> really role players, Franco, huh? We're just gonna take this guy's kingdom as well. Why not? This guy's nippy, and he's dead. <laughs> Brilliant. And that's how easy it is to conquer Spain. God, the Reconquista took hundreds of years. Why? Just one dude, that's all it took. Well, would you look at the time? I think it's time to declare war on the Muslims. <laughs> oh, it's like a daily thing over here in Mysterious. The cost of things in CK3 is strange. My cat did some damage, so I have to pay out 50. There is 17 ducats worth of loot this entire province, but I have to pay one person 50. I don't know how economics works in this world. It's been, it's been a while since we had a, a good scrap, like a protracted battle. I spent that first war cowering in fear. I need more knights. 90. That's what I mean. Ni he wants me to pay him 90. Most of my treasury for this one dude to come and fight. One man on one battlefield one time. Ooh, we stole their banner. The Tripolitania war banner. How have you gone here? Tripolitania's like here. <laughs> That's so cool. There's a reclaimed relics. Cassis Belli. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. That's so awesome. 7,000. How do you have 7,000 troops? It'd be a tricky war, but I think we can fight it and win. I mean, the main issue is Franco is 40. So we kind of got it. I keep on chucking him into battle. So I kind of need to get on. The issue is this is all mountains. Oh, great. My court position was killed by a murderer. There is a lot going on at home, but I'm not focusing on that right now. We can't actually afford, um, you know, mercenaries. So if we can't win this, we're kind of screwed. Oh, the Eglabids are here already. Oh, that's 5,000 troops. This might have been a terrible idea. And people are murdering people in my court. Crusades? Can we get a crusade for Iberia, please? Y you want me to go to, to Baghdad and Jerusalem and stuff? I'm sort of fine at home and Badajoz is now... Can I get white peace? Oh, dear. Barajas is now, like, independent. So if I'd waited maybe about, you know, six months, I'd have been so much better off. Sure. I'll fight for the kingdom of bloody Jerusalem. I'm in a... a kind of in, in the middle of something, man. Can I redirect the war? Look like Barajas. If we lose this battle, we lose the war. Oh, well, we can fight that battle first. Okay, that's good. That's kind of made me think maybe we can win this. Instead of just white piecing? Okay, there's a crusade. Sure. Just, just give me a little while. There's too much going on. I'm white piecing. I'm white piecing. I'm out. I'm out. God damn. That was very unsuccessful. Mainly because of all of the revolts. And now I'm being attacked by a lot of people. God, my troops are dying at a ridiculous rate. All right. Now let's, let's rest for a little bit. So we had a couple of, a couple of failed wars there. A couple of failed wars. A couple of tricky moments. But the Umayyad Sultanate is sort of crumbling. Now you're allied to Navarra. Navarra, man. <laughs> it's the worst. Jesus Christ. So there's a monk that's going to try and cut my head off. I bet you couldn't decapitate me with that puny thing. I'm either partially decapitated or fully decapitated. I don't want Francisco to die like this. I've also decided I'm going to switch back over to this. And I'm going to go down the strategist part. Well, we lost a crusade. <laughs> I feel like I would not have took the balance either way. You've been trying this for years, man. No, you're not going free. Uh, we will be declaring war on you, though. I feel fully recovered enough to- that's a lot of troops. That's- honestly, that's brilliant. Go see John Navarra. I don't care about Navarra. There we go. Decisive battle. And we've won. <laughs> that's what the wars are supposed to be. None of this fighting back business. This guy has 10. <laughs> He's got 10 troops. Uh, that means that I'm going to take your land. It's completely unnecessary, but I'm going to murder those nine troops. All right, well, I think I need some cash, so I'm going to try and uh, 
get some prisoners out of here. I feel like a gout ridden hunchback isn't going to do me too much harm, so I'm going to ransom him for 100. No, for favors. Look, if it's for a favor, you're staying in the prison. I don't care. Right, Francisco is 51. Mm. We're going to have to start going sicko mode, boys. It's got another pilgrimage. Oh, I just picked up St. George's Shin. Let's found it. It's on the side of the road. There you go. St. George's Shin. We'll put it up over here. Ah, the Melikate of Andalusia. That sounds good to me. Let's do it. He has very few troops. I don't know what happened down here, but everyone's dead. Remember when you guys had like 5,000 troops and I was forced to white peace? You now have zero troops. And there's our victory. Boys, we actually might do this. How old are you? 54. We've got a chance here. All right, let's just continue the conquest. We're seemingly in the home streets now. And we captured him. Oh, that's the best war. The best kind of war. Why do you insist on doing this? There's a lot of troops, actually. It's a shame you guys didn't, you know, unify a little bit. You might have had a chance. There we go. <laughs> All right, you just got to stay alive. It's a race against time. You're 58. You got this, Franco. Just stay alive. Let's get this man on life support. Wrap him in cotton wool. Oh, I got the terracotta foil. Must be a child to equip an inventory artifact. I Now that we're sort of this far ahead, I am going to be switching back to medicine. Ooh, Sheikh Mahmoud's battle axe. I just stole it off him. It's worse than what I currently have. Right, we're going to go for Navara. This is revenge for all the pain and suffering you put me through in that first war. I had to micro the hell out of it. All right, we will take Navara. Thank you very much. All right, let's go for Pretty Borders first, of course. That is how you should play every single Paradox game. And if you're not, you're an absolute psychopath, and I hate you. I'm still leading the charge. Oh, and we've already captured him. Excellent. I thought I wasn't going to make it in this one. So look, look, everyone complained in the last video that like, oh, Germany didn't... What the hell happened here? There's no East Frank here. There's... There's Germany. <laughs> Look, my Germany wasn't as bad as those Germany's borders. I'm just saying. I need to start saving up money for the Empire title because otherwise I'm not going to be able to do it. They're calling me the Garlic King? You punch the next person who provokes you by seeing their stupid battle repeatedly. I can kill them. Jesus. You want this guy in charge. This dishonorable villain who's a drunkard versus the man who basically did the Reconquista single-handedly is still leading troops at his ripe old age of... Uh, of 64. I'm now just like manically clicking to make sure that I don't mess this up. Who? Oh no, the 73 year old man who's been in my prisons for years and decades has, uh, has escaped. Whatever will we do? Sided with the Muslims and now you side with me. Specifically in my land. Ah, listen to that. It's the burning fires of, of your homeland. Wow, that's an awful thing to say. All right, I think I just need a thousand Duckets, and I need to have a kingdom title. All right. Uh, well, show me some kingdoms. Can we become the king of Valencia? I need 500 for that. Right, let's empty the prisons. <laughs> I don't care if you're a disgruntled vassal. Now's your time to leave. Pay me enough money and I'll let you go. I'm having a flash sale on prisoners. Buy one, get one half off. And now we just need a thousand. And I'll have done it. Just stay alive for a little bit longer, buddy. And we'll actually genuinely have done it. I should probably sort out the vassal management stuff at some point, but that's that's not the challenge. The challenge was to form Spain. It's not to, not to manage my vassals properly. Uh, what new weapons do we have? A battle axe, a sword. A, I still like my spear. Just trying to collect everything. Oh, can I put it in my court? The seal of Muhammad. Going to put that on there then, I suppose. Oh, I can declare war for the Duchy of Barcelona. That sounds like a good idea. All right, this war is against someone who actually has a lot of troops. So let's... Uh, be a little bit careful here. Oh, God. Valencia's under siege. Don't know how you got there. Oh, I got a French bass. Like, God, I've got so many weapons. I'm just collecting them. Oh, we've got another banner. God, I'm collecting so many things. Excellent. Now, there's just that one province over there, and I've got basically everything. I'll be dead within a year. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's get this going, boys. Okay. I will take vassalization from you two Catholics. I'm going to be dead in a couple of months. I'm just going to, I'm going to call it that. Technically, that's Portugal anyway. So I'm going to call that a victory, apart from maybe this one province here. Empire of Hispania. There we go. That was a hell of a ride for Francisco. 77. That went, oh God, we've also got these provinces in France. But that was insane. I was, that, we actually did it. Like that, you can't complain. Because, okay, look, the Germany one, people complained and said, oh, look, it's not perfect. Okay, this isn't bad either. I'm missing like one, maybe three counties. But in one lifetime, 
That's not bad. He's going to click serve the crown. And he's going to die in a couple of months. Goodbye, Franco. Uh, your lineage has come to an end. So we've lost, basically. Leaving no lasting mark on history. It took him 60 years to do the Reconquista. Who's in charge now? This random dude. But it's just the House of Franco. Spain, bitches! <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's all it is. Just interrupting myself here to let you know that as of this video going up, we're live right now on Twitch. So come say hi. Right, lads. Well, I've been really enjoying CK3 at the moment. So if you have any other sort of suggestions for what you'd like to see in this, uh, obviously there's a lot of new content to do. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do with culture and, and everything else. And I've already got some really, really cool ideas. But I'd be interested to see what you think. Either way, thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe from this video specifically. It just pushes it to more people. And that's good for us. And it helps us with the algorithm. So it'd be much appreciated. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Shout out to our Patreons. Jado52, Cargan, Flyerton, Henrique, Redguard76, and Xiaomi. Your support means a lot, guys.